We're back at Denny Moe's Barbershop in Harlem, where a white barber was discriminated against simply because of the color of his skin. The white dude? What you know about this, man? But what if now things get more personal? Excuse me. Rachel is an actor playing a hairdresser who has her eye on a new customer. You've been working here for a while? Yeah, for too long. When are you going to come save me? <laughs> all right, all right. But Gabriel has a girlfriend. And when she shows up... Hey, baby. Hey. Do you want me to wait for you over here? It's a rude awakening for Rachel. Wait, what? You with a white girl? Yeah, that's my girlfriend. You couldn't find a strong black woman for you? Excuse yeah. me? If you saw this woman berating an interracial couple, what would you do? Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. Baby? You dating a white girl? I'm dating a girl who is white, if that's what you mean. Okay. I don't get it, but that's crazy. The only thing crazy is you being in here. Rachel isn't pulling any punches with Christian. And at first, this woman takes the soft, comforting approach. I'm not bothered by you. Nobody over here is bothered by you. I hope y'all don't plan on having any children. Like I said, she sounds like a real hater, and she's insecure. And with that, Denise Muldrow is so upset, there's nothing holding her back. She's ignorant. No, she's not talking about me. I'm talking about you that's brushing his hair. You are ignorant. Keep your opinions to yourself, because it sounds stupid. All right? I'm letting you know. Black girl to another black girl, it sounds stupid. Much criticism as we went through as a people, you're gonna go and do it to the next person? What gives you that right? Why are you defending a white woman though? I don't care what she was, she could be purple. I'm defending a woman, period, point blank. That's what she is, she's a woman. Or maybe you're not, I'm sorry. She's not a woman, she's a bird. Get out of here, birdie. Well, before our actress flies away, it's time to introduce ourselves. I'm crazy, don't pay me any mind. That's just the Brooklyn in me. And you have to say something. You know, you gotta learn to speak up, especially when something is wrong. Don't sit around anywhere where you're not feeling comfortable. Speak up. Timely words. She's not one of us. Because things are about to get very uncomfortable and quiet in here. She ain't gone through what we gone through. Not too long ago, what we were going through, still going through. We have a black president. Shouldn't that show you how far we've come? Look, I'm just saying what every woman here is thinking, so, you know, kill the messenger, whatever. They wouldn't be with a white guy, would they? Kristen walks away for a minute. I can't take this. Sorry. And still, no one says a word. Am I right or am I right? Why not? Did it bother you? No, it bothered me a lot. But it wasn't my place to say anything. It definitely wasn't appropriate. Why not say something? I guess, uh... Hindsight is 2020. She even said, everyone here is thinking what I'm thinking. Well, I sure wasn't thinking what she was thinking. <laughs> but we sure know what Rachel is thinking. I don't know why you're so disrespected. What did I do to you? Read a history book. Actually, it still goes on, so. Kristen is overcome with emotion. I can't sit here. It affects this man so much, he almost jumps out of his seat. You don't belong with a girl like that anyway. I'm ashamed of myself. Yeah, that's what did nothing to you. Did you see what she looked like? She was a blonde white girl. <laughs> Look at this place. We up in Harlem. So go downtown. This is Denny Moe's. So go downtown. She should go downtown. And they can cuss you out downtown? Is that all right for them to cuss you out downtown? Why would they cuss me out? Because you're black and you don't belong to it. That's the same thing you're saying to that white girl. It's not the same. It's the same thing. They're ruining the black family. What? For Nicholas Richards, that comment is the last straw. Drugs are ruining the black family. Poverty is ruining the black family. That white girl's not ruining the black family. Would you be with a white girl? Maybe, but that's none of your business. And if I brought a white girl in here, you better not say nothing to her. You know the way we get treated. Yeah, give them some of the same medicine. Plenty of black people did nothing wrong. <laughs> You, just, you messed up. Why are you shaking your head? 
because it's ignorance, and I can't deal with ignorance. How you doing, sir? Such an eloquent condemnation of racism. She doesn't really work here. Uh... <laughs> You were angry at her. Hate doesn't do anything but beget more hate. And it holds us back, you know? Black people need to figure out constructive ways to move forward. And just being angry and upset at white people doesn't do that. Good advice, but nothing prepared us for this last woman. Wait, what? You were the white girl? What? Marsha Bonner, an HR executive and diversity trainer cannot believe what she's hearing. I mean, I just want to see him with a strong black woman, you know? I hear you. We embrace. We embrace. So you think that's wrong? It doesn't matter. I'm gay. Do you think that's wrong? I have nothing against gays, you know? I just feel like... Civil liberties. I didn't mean no disrespect. I know you didn't. I just try. She tries to get to the bottom of Rachel's intolerance. Oh, I just see like I see so many like black little girls who don't think they're good enough. That has nothing to do with them. Nothing to do with them. It's our responsibility to make sure that they feel good about it. You don't have to step on them. They can step on us if you want. Let's try to rise together. Because we can't do it without them. And then Rachel gets to the core of her problem. It's the way my mother taught me. And not everything your mother taught you have you abided by. Please don't move. Except the fact that she's going to go over there and shake that young lady's hand. She wants Rachel to apologize to Christy. One day. Just a fall. So he's like, yes, you should. While it's still on your spirit. So that you can sleep better tonight. Trust me. Trust me. Go up to them, yeah. Go up to the nut, you know. Not aggressively, but Not aggressively, just say, just like, I, 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 he's my boyfriend. I can hear you guys talking about me. He's my boyfriend. I know. And she wants to tell you something. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. This is a little weird no, for me. No, 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 don't let me. <laughs> Come here. That's what works for us. Hugs, helping us grow spiritually. Hi. I'm John Quinones. Why did she get involved? Sometimes you have to step up so that you don't fall back. Do you understand where she's coming from? Absolutely. It offended you? Absolutely. And it, and it didn't offend me, it hurt me. It hurt me because that's not what I'm about. What did you want Rachel to know about Kristen? There's, there's no, look at them. What's different? You know, it's about moving forward. Can y'all just step with me? We're going to move forward, right? <laughs> that's right. We're gonna have that's One step at a time. One step at a time. And that's exactly what they did today. So many people stepped forward against hatred and bigotry. A sermon at the barber shop now ringing through the streets of Harlem and beyond.